Kansas City police are working to bring charges against the suspects who started shooting during a Chiefs Super Bowl celebration. One woman was killed and others, including multiple children, were shot. Fox 4, Stephen Dial in studio with the latest on the investigation. Stephen. It was another mass shooting in our country, this time at a Super Bowl celebration. A bit of good news today. Most of the children that were shot have been released from the hospital. I was just telling everybody to get down, get down, and then like get out the way. A more clear picture is emerging from the chaos that followed the Super Bowl celebration Wednesday in Kansas City. New video from an overlook near Union Station shows the moments the shots were fired. We now know 23 people were injured. Half of them are younger than 16. One victim, 43-year-old Elizabeth Lisa Galvan, a radio DJ, was killed. Preliminary investigative findings have shown there was no nexus to terrorism or homegrown violent extremism. This appeared to be a dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. Thursday, Police Chief Stacy Graves said three suspects are in custody, two are juveniles. Multiple weapons were recovered, but it's unclear what type. A rifle was seen near one of the suspects. Chief Graves gave little information about the weapons, only saying this. Minors should not be in possession of weapons. Children's Mercy Hospital treated 11 children. Nine of them were shot. The hospital says most were treated and released. Other KC hospitals treated injuries for broken bones as people ran for safety. This was the city's third Super Bowl celebration. A reporter asked Mayor Quentin Lucas if he would reconsider such large events in the future. We had a Kansas City Royals victory parade where we had almost no arrests in 2015. So I don't think in any way that this is Kansas City. I do think that there is a gun violence challenge in this community and many others, and there certainly is a gun violence challenge as it relates to major events. That, however, does not mean that Kansas City will stop having major events. We will do all we can to make sure people are safe. The Fox affiliate in Kansas City is reporting the Jackson County prosecutor will charge the juveniles when they are certified to stand trial as adults by family court.